So let's talk about Tucker Carlson. <laughs> I don't know why, why we're doing this, but anyway. So, so Tucker has now officially, I think, unequivocally become a, a, um, a Nazi apologist. I don't know sympathizer, if that's too strong of a word. I, I don't think he's a Nazi yet, but he's become a Nazi apologist. And, and, and he's done a bunch of stuff around this, questioning, you know, I'm just asking questions. All I'm doing is asking questions. But he just did an interview with, with this um, revisionist historian uh, by the name of Daryl Cooper. Um, and this is how, Darryl, this is how Tucker introduces Daryl Cooper. Daryl Cooper may be the best and most honest popular historian in the United States. His latest project is the most forbidden of all, trying to understand World War II. Most forbidden of all, trying to understand World War II. Haven't historians and everybody else trying to understand World War II since World War II? How's that forbidden? It's only forbidden if you are inclined to suggest that the true story of World War II is different than what we know, which is exactly what this Daryl Cooper does. Uh, in this interview, Cooper says things like, Churchill was the chief villain of World War II. Hitler wanted peace on several occasions, and it's Churchill who turned him down. Um, when trying to explain the deaths of millions of people um, by the Nazis, he goes into this whole explanation of how when the Nazis invaded, uh, started, uh, you know, uh, invaded the East um, and e expanded the war into the East in 1941, they were just unprepared. They, they had not planned out, they, they weren't properly prepared for the millions of people that they now uh, took as prisoners of war. Um, and uh, uh, prisoners of war and, uh, people they rounded up. It never says why they rounded up, on what basis they rounded up. And, you know, those, because they weren't prepared, they, they didn't have the food to feed them. You know, some, he says, some commandants of some of the camps where they put them in. So they just put them in camps, and some of the commandants of some of the camps wrote letters saying, you know, we don't have food to feed these people. They're going to die of starvation. It would actually be more humane to kill them now than have them die of starvation. And he's saying, yeah, I mean, and the starvation was caused by, by Churchill uh, stopping food entering, entering Germany. Um, but, you know, they launched this war and they didn't really plan really well. And logistics, you know, logistics is hard. So he says millions of people ended up dead. Um, so there's no final solution. There are no, no meetings around that. There's no uh, intent to kill all the Jews in Europe. Never, never really Hitler's intent, it, it seems, from, from what he's saying here. Um, you know, Churchill just manipulated this. There's another quote. Let's see if I have this quote. Um, uh, yeah, they, it's just, just unbelievable. Um, if you watch this episode, I've watched parts of it. I watched the World War II parts of it. It is so horrific. And, you know, here's, here's another example. Uh, this is this guy who Tucker said is the most interesting historian right now. Uh, Hitler tried again and again on radio to broadcast a call for peace directly to the British people. He would give back the parts of Poland that were not majority German and would work with other powers to reach an acceptable solution to the Jewish problem. He was ignored. So really, Hitler was trying to do the right thing. Trying to do the right thing. And it's Churchill that ignored him, the West that ignored him. And, you know, what other option does he have? This same Cooper guy the same guy that Tucker has praised, um, tweeted this uh, two photographs, this Daryl Cooper guy, uh, two photographs, a photograph of the opening ceremony of, of the Olympics, which I guess makes fun of Christianity and stuff and is all woke and stuff. 
And then uh, Hitler uh, walking in front of the Eiffel Tower. So those two pictures, the opening ceremony and Hitler walking in front of the Eiffel Tower. And he says, this may be putting it too crudely for some, but the picture on the left, the picture of uh, Hitler, was infinitely preferable in virtually every way than the one on the right. Hitler Paris, they rounded up 32,000 Jews and sent them to concentration camps, killed them all, killed thousands and thousands and thousands of Frenchmen, uh, tried to steal all the art in France, uh, basically placed France under authoritarian rule, a stupid presentation of woke BS. They kind of criticized Christianity, which I'm all for. That's much worse than Hitler. Much worse than Hitler. Um, I mean, this Daryl Cooper is a supporter of the Nazis. There's no question he's a supporter of the Nazis. And Tucker Carlson calls him the best and most honest popular historian in the United States. Elon Musk, Elon Musk then retweets Tucker Carlson's interview and says, very interesting, worth watching. I mean, this is where I think Elon Musk, and I know this, this clip will definitely be used, is not thinking. He's not trying to understand what's really being said here. He's not trying to put it into complete context. Yeah, it was kind of interesting if you listen to it superficially and don't really think about what's being said. And he's not, because I don't believe Elon Musk is a Nazi sympathizer. But yes, um, Tucker is now full-blown Nazi apologist. Uh, if, if you wondered about Tucker in the past, now it's all out there. I mean, you can go watch the interview. You don't have to believe me. Uh, you can go watch it for yourself. It's about as bad as one can imagine uh, an interview like this uh, being. Um, and um, yeah, it's, it's scary because this is the scary thing about it. I mean, Tucker, okay, so Tucker's a Nazi, who cares? I, I wouldn't care other than Tucker is watched by millions and millions of people. Millions and millions of people are having Nazi propaganda normalized in their life by Tucker Carlson, and then confirmed as being okay by Elon Musk retweeting it. Um, Supercase says, Daryl Cooper is not a historian. Is he? He's just a podcast that talks about history, not equivalent to being an historian. I didn't call him an historian. Tucker Carlson called him an historian. I think he's a complete nutcase that should be avoided, completely shunned. This guy should be, sh I mean, not shut down by the authorities, shut down by us, by, by the viewers. His views are despicable, horrific. And yet Tucker Carlson treats him as the most, what did he say again? Um, best and most honest popular historian in the United States. Best and most honest. And the, the villain of World War II, the villain, not Hitler, Churchill. Churchill was the bad guy in World War II. Um, it's pretty unbelievable that one of the most popular, two of the most popular podcasts is on the right today with audiences in the millions. Tucker Carlson and Candace Owen have both become basically apologists for the Nazis. I don't think you could have, could have foreseen that. And I think if five years ago I would have told you that, you would have said, okay, but they're losing the audience, right? There's no audience for this crap. No. I mean, Candace 
is probably bigger now than she was when she was with the Daily Wire. And Tucker seems not to be slowing down at all, at all. Um, indeed, this interview with this idiot, Dawa Cooper, now has 24.4 million views. Uh, no, as of two days ago, I've got just a screenshot. Two days ago, 24.4 million views. I don't know how many it has right now. I, you know, 25.2. Okay, not that many more. 25.2 million views. For a hack promoting basically, prom you know, basically apolog uh, being an apologist for Hitler. And again, claiming one of the great heroic figures of the entire 20th century, Churchill was the bad guy. And Tucker, by the way, no pushback. No pushback. All those concentration camps, it was just logistics. They had nowhere to put them. What were they going to do with all these people? And the ovens and the killing them all, they were going to die anyway. Might as well get it over with. Unbelievable. Speechless. Speechless. So um, I've been warning you about Tucker for a long time. And, uh, but even I didn't expect it to get this bad this quickly. And it is, it is really, really, really bad.